You know, things have been going very, very, very wrong on Xbox Live, and you guys are aware of this, but finally, I get on after like 30 minutes of trying this morning when I just wanted to hop on and get on and, you know, get on, and I get a 45-minute double XP. You know, my day just turned around. So they added this new one-shot playlist here on the, on the Xbox and the PlayStation, pretty much on Ghosts Everywhere, I believe. And, you know, this won my heart over basically instantly. So you guys saw that I got the four times XP. Well, I got the two times XP, which means that right now I have quadruple XP. Now, I'm not saying that double XP sways me just as much as the next guy, but it, de it definitely does. Double XP is probably one of the top ten things that was put on this earth for us humans to enjoy. I think that I actually do enjoy this playlist so much because when I was younger, oh man, that was a bad shot, but when I was younger, I know that a lot of my subscribers and a lot of people that tune into my videos regularly were Halo players. I know that it, I know that it happened because, you know, everybody, pretty much everybody played Halo that's around my age. Oh, we're about to hit the quad right here, but pretty much everyone that's around my age played Halo for a fact, and I know it. And I know that you guys enjoy Team Snipers. Team Snipers was just one of those playlists that no matter how bad you are at the game, no matter what kind of mood you were in for the day, Team Snipers was just always a fantastic time. I definitely think that I developed a bias because of that playlist. I think that this playlist is literally the best thing that I've ever played in Call of Duty for a long time. Not, definitely not the best thing that I've ever played, obviously. There have been better things, but, you know, this is probably... Actually, no. Screw that. This is the best thing that I've played on Call of Duty in a very, very long time. It's entertaining. It's fun. It's all snipers. It requires a little bit of skill since it's all the same sniper. They just did a fantastic job on this playlist. And I'd like to know what you guys think of it because I think it's absolutely superb. To be completely honest with all of you, I have never, ever ever used an iron sight on this game i did not even know that iron sights existed until this playlist and maybe they didn't i still don't even know but i started using it and it's probably one of the most fun things to use you know in the game because it reminds me so much of like a world at war sniper like an old an old school style sniper because of the iron sight i just absolutely love it and i've been enjoying the hell out of it like look at that start Nine and one! Holy shit, there's a small army after me. I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to play these kids. Oh, I'm playing the shit out of all of them. Watch this. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's trying to- he's trying to smash me now! Oh shit, it's my teammate! I hope that all of you guys enjoyed your Christmas, uh, your Christmas vacations. A lot of you guys are probably still on it with school. Uh, off for college, off from high school. It's just- it's a great time of the year. You get to spend time with your family. I know that I hadn't seen mine in a very long time, so being able to spend... Is he using an... No, he's not. But being able to see them was a great, great thing for me. I haven't seen them in, like I said, a very, very long time. It was, uh, it was pretty crazy how long I actually went without seeing them. So that was what it was about for me. I don't really care about presents anymore. Whenever I was younger, it used to be all about presents. But I think as you get older, I think that it's just like a... I think that it's just something that clicks in your head. I don't know, but it's it's more about the family aspect, and it's not really so much about the gifts and, uh, you know, receiving things. One of the weird things for me, though, is that this year, unlike pretty much every other year, it's probably been, it's been a lot, it's been a pretty long streak of snow falling on the ground. This year, there was, like, absolutely, I think there was one time that it actually did snow. Like one time. So this Christmas was weird. There was no snow on the ground at all. It didn't even we didn't even have a chance of getting snow. So Santa Claus was probably pissed off. But you know, zero snow, so that was a little bit strange. We did, however, make our run through the Christmas movie gauntlet. Now I don't know what Christmas movies you guys watch every single year, but I know that in my family house and in my you know, my family's tradition is that we always watch like three or four Christmas movies on Christmas Eve and then throughout Christmas we watch 24 hours of a Christmas story on TBS. That's like the best TV marathon that was ever created. It's that's That's got to be the best Christmas movie. I mean, Elf is really good. It's funny and stuff, but no. 
Christmas Story is where it's at. This year, though, we watched a movie that we really never watched on Christmas, and that was A Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, I want your guys' opinion. Would you guys consider that a Christmas movie? Now, I know it's more of a Halloween-y vibe because, obviously, it's Jack Skellington and Halloween Town and stuff, but it is The Nightmare Before Christmas, and they do steal Santa Claus, so I think it's a 50-50 split. I wasn't really sure, but we watched it this year. I think that it's Christmas, but a lot of people are probably going to disagree with me there. Obviously, one of the things that was on a lot of people's minds and uh, on a lot of people's nerves at that is uh, the Xbox Live outages. Now, you know, I didn't really notice them except for yesterday, but I could see where people were coming from, for sure. I was trying to play Call of Duty yesterday and live stream and, you know, do my, do my daily thing and... I like I literally couldn't it basically broke my Xbox like in front of my eyes my Xbox was like Struggling to even live. I didn't even know what was going on. I had to unplug it like 30 times I was giving my Xbox CPR or something trying to make this thing live Finally though, I think that the issue has been resolved at least I hope so look at this invisible man jumping around I hope that the issue has been resolved because I don't know after this break all I'm trying to do today is play Call of Duty with my team Playing the 5k and you know, hopefully, hopefully win that and uh, really capitalize on this whole Christmas adventure. That is going to be the end of my video guys. I hope that you guys did enjoy it today. If you did, make sure you drop a like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. And as always guys, this is your boy Happy Skinny.